What's going on boys and squirrels? Uh, I'm gonna do a short video and kind of go over uh, some of the rotor machining specifics and uh, you know why they're done, what their benefits are. I'm gonna try to uh, include everything I know. Uh, I'm sure I'll probably miss something, but if I do, don't hesitate to uh, comment below and uh, I'll get to answering any questions you guys might have as fast as I can. So here's a rotor just, that I just recently machined. It is uh, part of a uh, four rotor assembly. It was missing one rotor because uh, one of the rotors was donated to science. Science, I mean uh, R&D. So I had to kill a rotor in order to perfect uh, the pocket machining on the combustion chamber. And this is a S4 non-turbo rotor. So the S4 turbo, the S4 13B rotors are casted uh, combustion bathtubs. So they're not machined smooth like the uh, S5, the REWs, and the Cosmos. So. The reason why somebody would choose this rotor it's because of uh the way it's casted it's it has a thicker casting it is a much heavier rotor to begin with so in order to utilize it to its full potential and uh bring the weight down to you know a 13b rew rotor per se or much lighter or you can utilize this in high rpm application Extensive machining has to be performed, like uh, machining the, the pockets to remove material on the sides. You have to side clearance it as the rotor is uh, oversized. If you measure it compared to a uh, REW, the newer style rotors. Um, as you can see, the casting has been removed. By removing the casting, uh, the compression is lowered. Now, in this situation, this will be a turbo motor, so lower compression is necessary or required by the, cu by the customer. So, to give you an example of kind of the, the benefits of why machine this whole thing all the way around. So, let's say when I put it in my machine, I indicate the center of the rotor. The center of the rotor is the center of the bearing uh, landing everything comes out and centers off the center of the rotor so once I center my rotor I indicate it and I go at it and machine it because I've done so many rotors and machined uh, so many of them I kind of noticed the differences in and uh, machining tolerances per se the earlier the rotor the sloppier the tolerances were from Mazda, the newer the rotor, the better the tolerances are. So let's say like on an S4 rotor indicated from the center, most of the time this face to this face to this face, it will be off. It can be anywhere from a thousandth of an inch, that's not a lot, I mean to five thousandths, six thousandths. Actually, I seen one that was six thousand. That was pretty. Uh, I don't remember if it was a twelve A rotor or an S four, but I seen them go up. So they're everywhere. Now, using a newer machine, having good equipment and precise equipment, I can take this rotor down to having equal faces from the center of the rotor out on all sides. So what that does is creates a rotor that is perfectly matched. Now, I can't say balanced because this hasn't been balanced out, but when balancing the rotor itself makes it easier when you have a concentric square rotor per se, but this is not square. So this face is square to the position of the center of the rotor, this face, this face, and so on. The reason why you have to, you know, you can't buy just one side seal and install it because of the machining tolerances as tooling gets wore out and everything else, these holes are not always 
machined in the same spot. They vary a thou, two thou, three thou. That's why you always have to clearance your seals. If Mazda had the tooling to precisely drill these holes every time, uh, you would just buy one seal install and it'd be done. They did that on the RX-8 rotors with the lettering. I'm assuming, uh, I can't say because I haven't seen it, but uh, their quality control and machining tolerances have gotten better where they can say for the you know letter K rotor, you can buy these seals and just pop them in. No clearance whatsoever. So <clears throat> now that we got that information out of the way, this rotor here, I went in and cut the faces. Now when I go in and cut the faces, I mean, you know, everybody does them their own way. Uh, I've seen them where, you know, they're just cut here. And this portion is, is left un, unscathed. Now that's a lot in the drag racing world because of pre-ignition or detonation, they tend to dent the surfaces on the rotor so they leave this portion alone a lot of times on drag racing you know 40 50 psi 55 60 psi of boost relatively uh where this is going that is not going to go up that high and uh you know the additional material here that was removed is not going to impact anything especially this being an s4 rotor what i removed comes down to be in the same thickness around as a 13B REW rotor. So if you, I would match this S4 in a machine rotor, it would be to a REW rotor, but with a lower compression of, I would say 8.9, 8.8. Uh, so I would put this in between the S4 turbo compression and the REW compression. So it's, uh, it's like in between. And uh, what else? Let's see. So side side clearance, corners clipped, face clearance, bathtub machined out. Now one other thing uh, to mention is by the bathtub being casted and untouched and unmachined, there are not equal. So there would be in a non-machine rotor s4 and a rotor the bathtub percentage variation from one side to the other can go from i don't know two percent to five percent maybe higher of location side to side and back to forth and casting material so the compression the compression pulse that the stock non-machined S4 NA rotor would make will not be even on all faces. Where now, the pulse based on your seal clearances and cut and how you do them, if everything is correct, you will have a even pulse. So 120, 130, you know, on all faces. And the pulses well that's in pressure psi so i would i would say that the combustion volume will be equal on all faces being a precisely machined rotor face and pocket so um i don't think i missed anything but that's kind of uh you know the reasons behind it so and it looks cool Nice, shiny, precise. It always looks nice, you know, eye-catching. Kind of, uh, it uh, puts in the uh, the variance of, you know, it's too nice to put in an engine. But uh, they go in engines. So if you have any questions, uh, holler at me. I'll do my best to uh, get back to you guys. Uh, for those of you that have subscribed to the channel, um, because I don't have time and I don't want to employ somebody that takes care of my video editing and my flashy intros and uh, catchy uh, video descriptions. So this is pretty much raw, just, uh, you know, brain fart videos, but uh, they have good, useful information.
I don't consider myself an expert. I just know what I know based on my experience on previous jobs, visual, uh, I can't think of the term, but uh, I'm pretty sure you guys know what I mean. So, I mean, every day I'm learning something new. So, but basically what I explain and is what I know up to now. Maybe tomorrow I'll know something new and uh, I'll make a new video. But other than that, <clears throat> I'll catch up with you guys later. Thanks for watching and uh, next time.